Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part five in our portrait lesson series and in this video we're going to further refine the facial features. We're going to be using Infinite Painter as the app and if you want to follow along traditionally check out my art materials list in part one of this video series. So I'm going to start with the Leo brush and I'm going to just start adding some highlights and some darker shadows on her face. And I want to go ahead and sort of make sure that the cheekbones are even. So I'm adding a little bit of darker flesh color on the edges of her cheekbones and around her nose. And I just want to go ahead and work on the nostril shapes a little bit so you can take some burnt sienna and go ahead and just for work on refining these facial features. We're at the point now where we're just doing little refinements to the face. We're adding little highlights and we're adjusting the edges on the features, adjusting the edges on the mouth, adding little pockets of dark and light. Here I'm adjusting her mouth a little bit, making it still wider just a little bit more, using alizarin crimson with some white in it to make the mouth color. And then I'm working again on the cheekbones. And I just go all around her face now, trying little adjustments, little refinements, adding in little highlights here. I'm working on a very small adjustment of the lower eyelids and I'm using a light flesh mixture for the bottom eyelids and we want to try to keep the eyes on the same level. We don't want one eye to be higher than the other so we have to keep continually working back and forth to try to keep the eyes in line. And then I'm working a little bit on the highlights above her eyes and on the cheekbones, on the bridge of the nose, the chin, just take your highlight color, a little light flesh color and work on the shape of the chin. And then I wanna go ahead and add a little bit more highlights between the eyes. And you just go and work all around the face. You don't want big adjustments now. Now the things that you do are just tiny little refinements. And this is the part where you're working to get the essence of the person. You're trying to get the look. I don't know how to explain it except you'll know it when you, when you finally get it, you'll say, oh, I've got it. It finally looks like that person. And so I'm working on the hair here. You can use ultramarine blue and burnt sienna that will make it a dark mixture and you can go ahead and work on the shape of the eyebrows a little bit throw in some white to that dark hair mixture to gray her eyebrows a little bit I'm working on the hair on the side of the temples just getting the shape of the hair on the braids you kind of want like a, a lo the loose braid pattern that she has and just go ahead and use your small brush. Your small script brush will work. And, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save it because I'm actually getting pretty close to looking like her. So quick, save it before you mess it up. That's what I always think. But anyway, just go ahead and work on the eyelids some more. I'm taking the white and orange mixture for this. And I'm just going to work on the shape around her eyes again a little bit more. And we want to go ahead and work a little bit on the wrinkles that appear a little bit above her eyes. And they're not big defined wrinkles, but there are little lines to show that she's a, an older lady. She, and so you want to go ahead and, and add those in, but you're going to blend them in. If you're doing this with acrylic, blend them in immediately with a paper towel, or your finger, or dry brush. <clears throat> An infinite painter, or with oils, you can always go back and blend them later. But right now I'm putting in these fine little lines 
that are around her eyes and on her nose. And then I want to go ahead and work on the shape of the nose just a little bit more. We want to make it look rounded on the nostrils and we want the the cheekbones to be a little bit more rounded and work on the the bridge of the nose here with some highlight color. Again, take your flesh color, cadmium white or take phthalo yellow green and alizarin crimson and throw white in to make your highlight colors. And just go ahead and work around the face with the highlights and the blending. And here I'm adding a little bit of dark to her eyebrows because she has a little bit of dark there. And then I switch to the Angelo brush to do all of the blending. And so I'm going to go ahead and blend those fine little lines in. We don't, we want them kind of there, but we don't want them very pronounced. So I'm smudging those in, smudging them around the nose and around the mouth. And you can also smudge the hair a little bit, but leave a few strands so that it looks like hair. And you can use your small script brush for that or your large script brush your long script brush if you want to for the hair and then i'm just working and picking places that need a little bit of orange highlight to them so you just take your cat orange light and go ahead and add some white to it and put places that need highlights and so i've shrunk the picture down so that i can compare it with my photo reference here and if you're working traditionally and you have a printed out photo reference just set it next to your picture and step back and just see how it compares to your photo reference and what you need to do and here I've shrunk it down and I'm still working on it and so I'm smoothing out some of the lines and seeing that she needs some highlights on the chin and that the nose needs to be a little bit more smoothed out here and the eyebrows need a little bit more smoothing out the cheeks I'm working on the cheekbones again I'm trying to get them make sure that they stay even as well and widening the other one on the left side out just a little bit and I'm working on her mouth a little bit more making it a little bit wider softening the edges making sure that everything blends in well and then I'm going to do a little bit of work on the hat the the hat brim needs adjusting and the top of the hat also the crown needs adjusting the brim needs to be widened out just a little bit more and I'm using yellow ochre with a mixture of a little bit of white in it so that it makes kind of a, a light yellowish mixture and I've widened the brim of her hat a little. I'm working on the crown, making it a little bit wider. The, the width of the crown needs to be the width of the person's head. And so I'm just going to go ahead and work on the shirt next with just a little bit of ultramarine blue and a touch of phthalo blue in it and a lot of white. And I'm just putting in some of the darker blue areas here and I went ahead and ran into a bug right here so I decided to stop and save everything before I lost anything so I went ahead and just stopped the painting right here so this is the end of part five of our portrait lesson and in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and add the highlights to her eyes and work on the shirt and the hat so thank you for all your support thank you for watching and if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below and i will catch you later